For those new to the term, a sidechain is a second layer solution, which acts essentially as an additional layer of information that moves information alongside the main blockchain. Now the sidechain uses the main blockchain as a point of reference to keep track of the true state of affairs, such as who sent what, uh, when did they send it, and things like that. In the case of Liquid and Bitcoin, Liquid will allow for transactions to be settled on the Liquid network without having to send those transactions along the main Bitcoin blockchain. This means Liquid transactions will be faster and may offer more features uh, and that the Bitcoin blockchain will have more room now that transactions are being conducted elsewhere. Unfortunately though, the sidechain is somewhat centralized. 23 cryptocurrency organizations signed up at launch to use and support the product. And this included big exchanges such as Bitfinex, OKCoin, and BitMEX. These organizations also serve as trusted functionaries who work to, who, who, sorry, who work to reach consensus on the network. Due to this, some members of the Bitcoin community are critical of the project. And comparing it to centralization of projects such as EOS, or other blockchains with trusted nodes. Fortunately though, whichever side of the, uh, of the chain linked fence you stand on, you should still be able to reap the rewards. As Liquid will offload thousands of transactions from the main Bitcoin blockchain, Bitcoin should become more efficient by pure virtue of being less congested. Much the same way that trains help speed up cars on the road simply by reducing the number of cars around. Furthermore, the Liquid network is being touted as complementary to Bitcoin's other side chain, the Lightning Network, where Liquid aims to speed up big institutional level transactions, Lightning looks to speed up those microtransactions. 